Hello! Welcome back! This is Kenshin1913, and we are Let's Playing Breath of Fire 4! In the last episode, we helped the fairies with their village thing, and now we're in Windia. The home of Nina and her sister Elena. And we're here to, I don't know, get clues and stuff, and, and stuff? I don't know. We're here to talk to the dragon. So here we can talk to another blue manalo guy, get some nice uh, stuff, get a new rod maybe, I don't know. But we need more, uh... ooh, look at this dragon here, that's nice. And I hear this render is very good too. Anyways, uh, yeah, I'll have to start getting more fish, collecting fish, you know what I mean? No more fighting, yeah. Yeah, if I remember you Windians correctly, you guys didn't really care for war. I mean, I remember your soldiers back in uh, Breath of Fire when they pro they weren't very strong. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hey, look who it is! It's Momo! From Breath of Fire 3! What the hell is she doing here? Sure, I'd love to hear your stories. You might not know it by looking at me, but I've traveled around a lot. And I've picked up a lot of interesting stories here and there. Here, I'll teach you something. I learned. I forget where, but anyways, I'll show you how to do it. How to do drowsy. Okay, so Momo basically... She'll be your master, and she'll boost up your HP. That's basically it, but not too much. Uh, what the hell, Sias, you can learn from her. For now. And basically, she will... Her will is drows, which I guess will occasionally make them asleep. And basically, how, how you learn stuff from Momo is the longer you've been playing the game, the uh, the different skills she'll learn, you'll learn from her. Like, if you've been playing the game for over 40 hours, you'll get a really good ability called Oracle. But I haven't, been, I've, I think I've been playing only for about 10 hours, so it's gonna be a while. Yeah, they're talking, they're talking about the Princess Elena. Yeah. But yeah, so maybe I'll do something between this and this episode and the next to get all that stuff from Momo. Because actually, if I get it now, it will actually make my life a lot easier for the next few things, you know what I mean? And yeah, this is Windia. I don't know, which wind uh, now that I've played all four... Breath of Fires that will have a Windia. Yeah, there's no Windy in the next game. I'm wondering which one, which is my favorite Windia? Let me ask you that. What is your favorite version of Windia? I think mine would have to be from Breath of Fire 1. I just like all the, uh... Mm, that could have been it too. But I, ha I have to say mine's probably from Breath of Fire 1. Although this castle, this Windian castle is pretty awesome. Yeah, let, let me go to the castle. Let us go to the castle. Yeah, and this is why I like this castle. Look at this place. It's literally on the top of a, uh, it's literally on the top of a friggin, uh, mountain with a bunch of windmills. For some reason I was thinking originally it was, uh, it was floating, but then I was looking at some pictures of it, and it's actually on the top of a mountain with cliffs and whatnot. But actually there's one treasure I want to get. Oh, really? I'd love to see the wind dragon. 
Hell, that's the reason why we came here. And we get the Ring of Wind. Which I think... Increases the resistance to fire attacks. And then... Wears HP are restored by wind. That's nice. Well, we at least have something nice. Alright, let's keep going. So yeah, this music's got like a like a light feel to it. I don't know how to explain it, but Windy has always been like a airy town, you know what I mean? This one more so than any of them. This one more so than any of them. Because it's got a cool ass. Look at all these windmills. I love it. Talk about energy efficiency. It is totally green. It is green on a level that you can't even comprehend. It's super green. Yeah, just like the fifth element. And they love high places. You know what? I'm glad. I'm glad these guys got their wings back. Because, like, you know, the second game when they were like, Oh, we got wings, but we can't turn to birds and fly anymore. I was like, oh, man. And it was all because Ryu and Nina had to have a baby. And they lost the ability to have... And then eventually they lost the ability to have... To turn to birds. But I don't understand how that works. Because it was just the royal family. It's not like the whole... The whole, uh... The whole damn, uh, you know, the whole country was all breeding with other species of friggin', of other species of, of, uh, people in Breath of Fire, and then just, oh, no, we can't fly anymore. But then again, I guess, you know, I don't know. But anyways, now we have to change to Nina, and now we can finally come over here. I don't know, I always thought that was a little weird. But then again, you know, I guess after a while, you know, pe people's tra traits, like, they go away. Just like, just, you know, I mean, it happened to, uh, I was gonna say, it happened to all the races, really, in, uh, from Breath of Fire 1 to 2. You know, the races started to, uh, lose all their, their cool things that they had about them from the first game. Which is kind of sad. A little sad. Anyways, let's talk to this guy with the big nose. It's Princess Nina. Go in, Princess. You can see the king anytime. No, I don't want to see him yet. I want to explore the castle some more. Oh. I don't know what to think when I received word from. Ludia that you've been captured. What was I supposed to think? My daughter goes out in search of a missing sister, only to be caught by tres uh, caught trespassing in enemy territory. How did this happen? Well, we were looking for your daughter. She went missing, if you didn't remember. We were looking for her. Regardless of what happened, I owe you my thanks, Chief Gray. And you have probably discovered for yourself, our neighbor and supposedly ally Ludia is more worried about their relations with the Empire than in helping me search for my daughter. Yes, they are. They're a bunch of jerks. Yes, he is the leader. Yeah, and he chose to search for her himself. Yeah. Well, there must be a reason. Maybe he has some sort of feelings for her or something. I don't know. Yes. Well, what the hell are the Ludians going to do to us? I mean, this is Windia. This is Nina's territory. Yeah, we'd like to see the dragon. The wind dragon. We need to speak with whatever that... Where is he? Where are you freaking hiding? 
this guy's name is Pon Yorin. Or Pon Ron. He's the Wind Dragon. And I don't know if this is supposed to be like an Asian name or whatever. But he's like flying in the air. Kind of like a. I guess like a dragon. Like a Leviathan snake thing. Big ass snake. Or like a sea whale. I don't know. He does have tusks. I have no control of the dragon. You know that. And then how the hell do we get control? Looks like the Empire is restless. We will find the Oracle of Wind. The priestess who served the Wind Dragon. Alright, cool. So now we're gonna head off to the woods and talk to the Oracle about how to find the Wind Dragon. Or how to get to him, or whatever. Yeah, you better think of something good, too. Yeah, I'm thinking, tell him, like, we, we died or something. Tell him we fell down a well. That always works. Tell him we fell down this huge well. And it's game over, you know what I mean? We got ourselves a fat frog. And yeah, it apparently Nina's mom isn't around anymore. Assuming this is standard role-playing procedure, it must mean Nina's an only child. I mean, uh, you know, one parent kind of thing. They do that a lot in, uh, they do that a lot in, uh, but, well, role-playing games in general. Anyways, let's go down here and we can talk to this guy right here. And we'll trade the iron ball for a brass ball. And we, every time we trade these balls, we're gonna get... We're gonna get something from a master later on. He's gonna, He or she is gonna teach us some good stuff. So it's a good idea to do this, uh, you know, this crazy trading thing. Hello. Yeah, well, I doubt though. I mean, I'm pretty sure there'll be another war. I mean, there's going, there's probably going to be another war. I'm not gonna lie to you people. The Empire's just itching to get back into the old war game. Cause this is a war. This, this is a what? What snake say? Something about this is a, a war economy or something. Uh, I don't think you should choose either, dude. I think Nina has her sights set on someone else, if you know what I mean. I'm not gonna give it away yet, but there will be something later about it. Uh, did I go down? remember. Yes, I did. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. And go to the forest to the east. To go meet the wind priestess lady. The lady who knows everything there is to know about wind dragons. It's Princess Nina. Okay, so... Let's see something. Yeah, okay. Alright. And look at that, now we can head east. And over here is Cask Woods. 
Or cat, yeah, wood. What? Cat's wool? Yeah, let's set up camp. And let's have a talk. Is it just me, or is it like whenever we go, a dragon shows up? Person says it's just a song. What? It's just as the song said. Yeah, you better not. Are you, what, are you still looking for your money? Oh. Yeah. You know what? They, they do remind me of you a little bit. And so, yeah, let's go visit the, the fairies really quick. And then the next episode, I'm actually going to see if I can speed up with, I have a fast forward feature on this emulator. I'm gonna see if I can, uh, yeah, there's nothing here yet. And any notices will be on the notice board, obviously. Anyways, I'm gonna fast forward a little bit and see if I can get me some, uh, some, uh, stuff, because we're at 10 hours now. And let me see something really quick. Whoa. If you're with Momo, Let's see here. The master for Momo is play the game for 24 hours, 25 hours, and you'll get spray. And uh, then play the game for 30 hours, you get you get a clip, and then play it for 40 hours, you get Oracle. So I'll see if I can speed up to 40 hours. If not. If it takes too long, we'll just continue. So, in the next episode, we will continue with whatever we were doing. Bye-bye.